So how do you now incorporate some of the techniques that Harwood has used into your own writing? And the best way to do this is to pick a couple of good images um, and also think about the ideas behind the poem and then see how you can turn that into your own um, piece of writing. So <laughs> in the previous video, obviously, we went through some of the techniques. And so a couple of the ones, yeah, like I really personally liked was, you know, the master of life or death the truncated sentence, my first shot struck, as well as I fired. You can see how effective that is. <clears throat> There's a really good motif here about hopped blindly closer. So you could kind of incorporate the idea of like blindness and then seeing. Um, and then of course, overall, you've got the themes of growing up and also potentially um, our destructive activity the, towards the environment, um, which really, as we can see in the current world, does not stop at what a child does. Um, it goes on to ourselves and, you know, obviously, you know, what, what's now happened and the kind of issues that have um, been created from our impact on the environment. So as you can see, I'm sort of leading to some particular ideas here. So this could go into a couple of things. So you could pick an imaginative um, piece where of writing where maybe you adopt this idea of um, a child or someone learning um, into a new story um, altogether. Or you could take the idea of that destruction on the environment and then incorporate that into a new idea or you could turn it into a discursive piece where you um maybe at the beginning you do an anecdote on how this was you as a child and you're reflecting on that and then um now you're somebody that maybe fights for animal rights or um something to do with climate change so um you know, the key thing here in terms of being clear that you're incorporating the stimulus is that you, um, you know, you've got key techniques that Harwood has used. So things like motif or um, the sentence, you know, the way the sentences are structured, um, you know, even the use of dialogue, you know, a couple of key things that you think work well. And then you can do things like you might incorporate a little bit of a line, like you almost use intertextuality in your own piece, uh, or you just use your own version. So while you're writing, maybe you do an imaginative piece and then you do a really short truncated sentence um, for high impact that you can then justify your choice of that stylistic feature through what Gwen Harwood's done. Um, so always have ideally three techniques that you've got ready to um, adopt in terms of stylistic features and also make sure that you understand what the actual text is about so that you can potentially incorporate something thematically. Um, so like we said here, growing up, um, corruption of the innocent, um, power, etc.